Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Mafia. We are on Omata this time. Last time we played through a mission where we were just, like exchanging cargo stuff with Canadians and we found out we have a mole. Uh, Sam got shot. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Sam. Uh, but we're just gonna continue on. And I believe it's gonna play the cutscene again where Salier. I can't say his name, but the dude is uh, basically saying to Tommy, Frank is the mole. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Okay, it's not. So they had a talk uh, last time where Vincenzo, uh, not Vincenzo, sorry, Do uh, Don, whatever his name is, was like to Tommy. I went to go check the books that like has all the information about what's coming in, what's going out, and they're gone. And the only other person who I believe has access to the books is Frank. Frank is also gone, and no one can get a hold of him. Tough day today, Tom. Oh, wait. Can I go in here? Where's my card? Okay. It's a comic. Oh, Tommy. I love this game. Oh, hi. Okay. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Ooh. What is it? A shotgun. What? When Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. They always work. Maybe that's the name of the gun. Is coming now from Frank. I mean, I could have. But maybe I'm just that good. What I find interesting, though, is that they're telling Tommy. But I don't think they've told Paulie or Sam. Could be bias reasons. Oh gosh. In case they show bias towards Frank. But I don't know. It is a bit weird. I think anyway. At least I didn't bang into the cops, you know. Don't mind me. Is it a toggle? No, I don't know. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Hey. Heard any big news lately? Something the Don might want to know. Well, it depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Find it, little Tony. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Oh. Right. Is no one worried? Anyway, that's not scary at all. That was a bit dramatic. I love the green. Welcome to a WLH sports report. There's a Ooh. sense of anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own lost heaven lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on 
admitted arrivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plotted and column hinges have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, to he may well be the key man that brings the Wistman Trophy back to last heaven. But doing so will be no... You go. Standing in his way is opposition captain... That was Victory so was cool. Out by the Lancers in Game Six, and we now have a powder keg finale that is sure to have everyone glued to their radios. Can Bunny Smith bring it home for Lost Heaven, or will the Cannons' towering redhead have the final say? WLH 570 Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series, and we hope you'll join us in wishing our boys well. And now, back to some of the latest musical numbers. That was so cool. How. Like, it didn't fully lose reception, you could still kind of hear, but when you went under the tunnel, it got really muffled. Everything okay, Tom? Yeah. Uh, no, actually. Oh, what's this? Go get him, boys. Lancers. Lancers. Game 7 of the 1933 Gold Series takes place today. The Lost Heaven Lancers play the Empire Bay Cannons at the Armory with one team starting to take home the trophy. After a heroic campaign filled with exhilarating twists, Captain Bunny Smith will lead his men onto the Diamonds to play for the Lancers' first series victory in over two decades. Eh? Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into pen. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Is that Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That arm that Councillor Gilates broke in some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready Ooh. to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom. What's going on? Hmm, maybe... Part of me is like... We return now to the coverage of Game 7 of maybe the Maybe Brian just wanted to deal with it himself. Of it, ladies and gentlemen, will be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion more than any other could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers I do kind of wish I was the a series, And it's not often Empire the radio and Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancers star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Elms, Graveson, and Nicholson. Smith seemed to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Arbor, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. I didn't mean to do that. Hello? Yeah, well, we need help right away. Potential injuries downtown. Car collision reported. Yeah, he's been seen. Go get him, boys. Okay, arrest the guy. I really did not mean to do that. Yeah, the suspect's been lost downtown. We'll find him.
please lose me. Okay. He's gone. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. <clears throat> That's such a captain price. Ooh. You really have to be careful driving. I don't even think I got her that badly. Were there cops there? Did they call the cops? How does it work? Let's just say, um, you don't have the freedom that you do in, uh, GTA. So. That's good to know. Are we gonna meet Frank here then? I don't know, um... Looks like the place. That was hella smooth. Tail Frank. Take me to those account books, Frank. Okay, I can't have this on now. A part of me thinks Frank looks scared. Almost. Okay, I think if I'm not within a certain distance, the car stops moving. Where are they moving you to? Okay, I think they were actually not moving because of the cop car there. But, because now they're moving pretty fast. Watch me get spotted at like the last second or something. Gotta be some kind of meat happening. Mm. They do stop when they go past cop cars. But I don't know if that's just a coincidence. Where did they see me? I swear I'd gotten closer than that and they hadn't seen me before. Ah, uh, shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank. Ooh. Wait, ooh.
feel like I might lose them. They're really far away. That was a sudden stop. Oh, they are. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Wait, what? Oh, that's a bush. How? How? Whatever. <laughs> sure. Find where Frank is being taken. Do I have to go in or can I go around? Ooh. That door's open now. Which makes me believe I can go through here. Why the feds take charge here? Informant handover 12. We shut down airport. One informant and FBI escort leave safe house. 1315 informant exchange and taken to hangar five. Isn't this made by hangar 13? I guess this is an airport area. We get account books after informant handed over. I don't know how. Can I jump out this window? Oh, there were mollies. Show his face for a rat like you. Nah, get in the car. What's this thing? Um the way that somebody go down. Not with guns blazing. Still leaving tax records. It's the way they Okay. That wasn't how I wanted this to go, but I mean it is what it is. Oh it's double barrel. Damn. Ooh, I didn't realize it was double barrel. I have a grenade. There's ammo over here. How do I not have a revolver? Or anything else, literally. Over here. Hey. He's mine. God, shit. <clears throat> oh. oh, there's a dude right there. Oh 
Oh god. I can't go back there! Although there is ammo, actually. the other dude in here. Wasn't there hell somewhere here too? Or am I thinking of a different place? Oh, there's ammo. Something, I guess. Got me. <sighs> I didn't. Ugh. Damn. No shot that that did no damage. Okay. Thanks. You had to rub it in there, didn't you? What? No. Are they just gonna keep spawning in? Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. I... Oh, there was ammo. I'm full. Damn it! Where are you? I'm gonna take you down. Get a better shot. Go. Who are you speaking to? My dude is just you. Okay, we made it. Woo! I could have just gone here and bypassed a load of stuff, but it's okay. Tom. Frank. The Dan sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. So he was the act. It... Uh... Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello is waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, march! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. Is Tommy gonna... I don't think Tommy will. I don't think Tommy will kill him. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Oh, is he not going to let Frank go? Thank you, Tom. 
Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. That was a weird shot of the pilot though. Get the account books. Oh, this top guy. I'll watch you. Not like that, it's weird anyway. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Thank you so much. Down here. Beautiful day, huh? It uh -huh. is. Well, not for some people, but uh, for me. I reunited a family. Out of trouble, I hope. Sure. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who Ooh. came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Okay. Gangster's Monthly. That was a cool comic book cover art. got the books, you covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from Ooh. the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. I wonder if he told Sarah the truth. Or Sa Sarah probably wouldn't even know. Oh, Sam's okay then. <laughs> Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. <sighs> Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Oh. It's a hell of a thing. Damn, that was a harsh line. Right in the house. Ha <laughs> ha! One of you guys were in there. Visiting rich people. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. 
Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Pauly and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Then where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Okay. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Dead him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. He just rizzed You know up. the job. <laughs> so don't let me down. See, si. who capisce? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. So we should let him go. Tommy, Tommy Angelo, piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Ooh. Is that for you? Surely that's for you, right? I think it is. Turn off. The map doesn't actually show the things. They look a lot closer than they are. Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. <laughs> ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La casaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Okay, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Si. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Si. Uh, it's, um, it's my job. Uh, I my open job. safe. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. See, si, I know that's excellent. I'm not all dumb. That's not, though. Get a bit overstimulated if I have Hell too many sounds going here. on at once. A volte questo paese è estupendo. Dude! And I would have get done. You were just crossing the road. Wait, are there crossings? I actually can't tell if I've noticed a crossing or not. Dude. Ecco. Okay. Entriamo da lì. Uh, over. Wall. Labirinto. What? Wait. Vedrai. Oh. A maze. Si. Un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto. <laughs> Hey, dude. <coughs> the 
Is there not another dude over there? Oh god, I don't know how to get out of this maze. Oh. Right, where'd that guard go? I guess. Damn, there's a dude down there. As I'm, oh, there's a guard there. What do I have? I guess I will uh, take that. Can I? <sighs> sure wish I could have a night off. Someone else already said that, buddy. Turn around. Cool. Mine. <laughs> There's a dude there. There's someone in the maze with us. They have dogs. I'm kind of hoping they'll just lose suspicion. I wish I could have a night off. I think that's all of them. I don't know why Salvatore. I can still kill them, but Where are you? I did it anyway. Clear. Tommy, I hear. Where, buddy? Well, I want this. Oh, okay, he's down on the sunbed. Where the hell did he go? What? Huh? <sighs> Guy's a pain in the ass. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. You want to go around the opposite way? Cool. Oof. Same tipo tosto, eh? What? C'è un'entrata. Break him. Kick. Kind of luck, Vic, or are you? Look for her. Uh, what? Um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio. Uh, oh, a painting. Painting? You're saying it's behind a painting? Upstairs. Si, wait, si. it's first floor, though. Okay, I understand. Oh wait. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. I'm pretty sure this is the first floor. Okay, there might be a breakout if there's hell. Um, 
Is there a little comic book or something here? Empire Bay mob boss murdered. Spectacular pictures of vile Kingpin's fiery end. Notorious racketeer Tommaso Moratti was killed outside his Empire Bay residence last Thursday afternoon, the sole victim of a car bomb undoubtedly planted by an underworld rival. Bay residents will hope that Moratti's death will bring to an end the spate of gang violence that has rocked their city in recent months. We will mourn his yeah, passing. Uh, yeah, but guess what, buddy? I'm not ready for that yet. You, we go on my watch, okay? Don't mind me. Dude, move! Ah, uh, Salieri. Who are you? Ma'am! Ma'am! Get out before things go bad for you. Only wall behind here. Okay. Repent. America will not fall into temptation. Prohibition must not be replaced. Do not drink on wine. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to something. Instead, be filled with the spirit. Hmm. Gotta be it. I don't think it is. Actually, wait, it looks like it's embedded into the wall. No, it's not. Ma'am, you should probably leave. <laughs> Painting? Gotta be it. You've said that about literally everyone. Nothing again. Nothing in there. Don't need the health yet. Did I look in here? Wait, first floor, isn't that upstairs? Or am I mistaken? Oh, this must be it. What does it say? Prosecutor Watkins, I am writing to thank you. If you can truly give us reliable witnesses, testimonies, and evidence that Salieri had Billy killed, I'll be in your debt. The priest's story never rang true, and now he's dead and buried. This feels like our last throw of the dice. If witnesses ask for too high a price, I will cover it. Likewise, our mutual friend will be able to apply some pressure. Standing out Salieri and his family will be good for all of us. These are dangerous times. I worry for your safety and the safety of your family. You will soon receive someone at your home who will protect you with gratitude, Roberto. Yeah, I got it. Oh, stop, I know I'm too good. Uh, uh, sure. Show me what you can do. Surprise, it wasn't like there was hell. Quick Salvatore. Pacenza, Pacenza. They're like quiet, quiet. Silence, silence. Shut up, shut up. Nice work, excuse me. Ah, oh, Tommy. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Did you even get the stuff? My dietro, dietro. Okay. They gotta be upstairs. Satan hey, is hey. stunning. Over here. My dude, where is he? Oh. Hey! What's up, you guys? I don't have any. Where's health? In here. 
Oh, wrong room. Okay. Together. They're all in this together. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, where is this house? get out <laughs> how do we get out uh, I think we need to actually go out the front door one of the doors anyway oh I go out okay I go out the way I was shooting everyone from that would probably make the most sense Salvatore stay back I'll deal with him do you gonna deal with sorry? All on duty officers, gunshots being reported. Oh god. Permission to shoot him. Take the guard. Finally, I get you first time. Forza! Andiamo to there! Okay, so they can report gunshots. Is it because there's an eyewitness or something? Okay, wait, we need to hide. What the? How? Why can't you jump over that? How did they get me? I think I was supposed to get a car and drive straight out, but I didn't do that. Okay, let me try that again. Samina, he's fearly. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. Get in, dude, quick. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six uh, and uh, my pole. Okay, let's go. Don't run me over. I'm so sorry. So stupid. Okay. 
I think we might be okay. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. Thank God. <laughs> uh. Hi. What do our uh, little arrows mean? Lil. Everything, at least one thing hasn't changed from uh, Tommy's previous life, and that is the fact that he is still a taxi driver. <laughs> he still, still, still goes and drives everyone around. A bit of normalcy. 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 Yeah. At least that's something. Tommy. Devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa ed è tutta colpa tua. This sounds like Archie. Almeno un po' di italiano per rispetto della nostra patria. È come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Sure. No. I don't know. I know Artie's Finnish. I don't think Artie's Italian, but for a moment there, that sounded like Artie. <sighs> good night. Uh, night. Yeah, good night. We did it. Chaps are complete. Great deal. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss. Holy. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. <laughs> he's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries. And I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. Ooh. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. Sure. We'll be cutting up the last bean pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, 
do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. Okay. What do we do? Down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. <laughs> I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Bona fortuna, boys. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna leave that the for today. We will continue on next time with the great deal. I'm gonna go ahead and save and leave that there for today, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of Mafia. Okay.